Numbering for reinforcement identification serves a variety of organizational purposes depending on how a building is designed or how it will be constructed. Reinforcement elements are numbered on placement, allowing identical elements to be matched for schedules and tags. If the rebar is changed or assigned to a different partition, the rebar number may change based on the matching policy and settings of the new partition. In assigned partitions, rebar and fabric sheet numbers match those of the same type, size, material, and shape. You can view these numbers in the Properties palette under Construction. The tags in this section view show a simplification of this number matching relationship. Changing the type, shape, size, or material will also change number. Before placing rebar or a fabric sheet, you can assign a partition. Select from existing partitions or type a partition name to create one. If the rebar has already been placed, you can select it and then assign a partition. Rebar partitions and numbers can be filtered, scheduled, and used as label categories. This is often useful to reference what kind of rebar is to be delivered, where it is to be delivered, and how much should be delivered. In this structure, nine partitions based on level and zones have been filtered to display rebar in distinct colors. Now when you place rebar, it is rarely apparent if it has not been assigned to the correct partition. Use the reinforcement numbering dialog to make adjustments to rebar in fabric numbering sequences. The filter partitions field narrows the numbering sequences displayed in the dialog. Specify the first number for each sequence if desired and the minimum number of digits for the numbering sequence. The updated numbering scheme will propagate the schedules and tags. Also, observe where the numbering gaps appear in a sequence. These are denoted by an asterisk. Remove them by renumbering the sequence. Design, ordering, fabrication, staging, storage, and ultimately the placement location of rebar on site all have an impact on the quantification needs of the contractor.